Hello there, this is Carrie Rhodes with another video for scrapbookpal.com. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am featuring a stamp set for Halloween by Fun Stampers Journey. It's called Hey Boo. Isn't that cute? I love the big, bold cat image in this set and the bat and the spider. It's a really cute set. And we're gonna be making a slim line card and a little treat to go with it. So here you can see the entire set. And here's the three colors of ink that I will be using. So the first is Sugar Plum. Now when you're inking up a bold image like this, it's not a line image, it's a solid image. You want to get really good ink coverage. So a stamp positioning tool can be very helpful for this so that you can stamp it more than one time to get that really bold, filled in solid color. So that's what I will be doing for these cats. I'm going to stamp one in the sugar plum and then I will clean that off, keep it there on my misty door and stamp the second with fake tan, which by the way, isn't that the cutest name for a stamp? Pad. I love it. All right, so fake tan cat is like the perfect orange color for my project today. I guess it looks a little bright maybe in the video, but I love the orange color of this cat. All right, so then we have soot. So this is kind of like a warm gray. When you first stamp it out, it looks almost black, but when it dries back, it kind of has a warm gray look, like a really dark warm gray. So it's a fun color. I am loving it. So you notice that each cat only has one paw. There's only one paw to stamp in this set. So once I have all those stamped, I'll go back and stamp in a second paw for each of the cats. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut those out. I am fussy cutting these out. Um, I do not believe there is a die set for this uh, set. So breaking out the scissors and I did just fine. <laughs> Some, it's okay to fussy cut once in a while or use your electronic cutter. And now I'm gonna stamp out three of the extra images from this set, the pumpkin and that fake tan. I'm gonna use the sugar plum for my bat and then the soot ink for my spider. And those will just be some accent images for today's card. All right, now we're gonna create the background. So I'm using Distress Oxide Ink Twisted Citron. I love this color. It is so fun for Halloween. I just love the bright, bold colors for Halloween. I love putting them together. I think the color combination is just like the perfect thing I need at this time of year to do something fun and different. So I'm gonna use the, this ink so that the top of the paper is more saturated with ink and it gets lighter as it goes towards the bottom. Once I have that done, I spritzed it with water right there, although you couldn't see my spray hair in the camera and then pick up the excess uh, water with a paper towel. And now I'm going to hot foil this spider web. This is the spider web background hot foil plate from Spellbinders and I'm using opal foil. This foil is translucent and leaves behind a pearl essent look. So I'm going to put that with the um, pretty side down, which is kind of hard to tell on this foil. You just have to pay attention to when you cut it off, use the outside. And then I'm gonna hot foil this two times, one on each end. So you put the hot foil plate face up, the foil pretty side down, and then your paper and your plates, and then you push the timer on your hot foil system. When the timer goes off, you remove that platform and run it through your die cut machine. And then you can remove that foil and see the pretty background you've created. Now this had a lot of excess foil. I think that's because the background was inked, but it easily brushed away. Isn't that cool? All right, so now let's do the other end. This time I am not gonna show you where I run it through the die cut machine um, because it just takes a little bit of extra time to wait for that timer to go off. Um, but you'll see here that I do have a spider web on each end of my background. I just tapped off that, that excess foil into the garbage after I brushed it away, and now we're ready to move on. All right, I'm gonna use another Glimmer Hot Foil set, Spooky Greetings, to do my sentiment with some black foil. So again, you put the foil with the plate side up, foil black side down, and then my scrap of cardstock, push the timer, run that through your dye machine, and you have a hot foiled sentiment. If you wanna see more about hot foiling, I did do a video on hot foiling for Scrapbook Pal, and I will have that linked for you in the description box below, so you can check that out, and you'll want to 
um, watch that if you're wanting to learn more about hot foiling or you're new to hot foiling it's a great video and you can see all the things that come with it and all the how to's all right so I trimmed out my sentiment and now I'm going to stamp boo right on this pumpkin because I thought if I build this sentiment together it would say creep it real boo it's kind of sweet. All right, so I'm gonna glue my cats along the bottom of my slimline panel, which by the way, I die cut with the largest slimline die from Lawn Fawn. So it has that cute stitched border all the way around and it is eight and a half by three and a half. We'll glue all three of the cats down. I like to glue the two on the end and then the one in the middle. That helps me to space them out. Then for their little paws, I'm going to use a foam square or two foam squares actually on each paw to pop them up to give this a little bit of dimension. And they look so cute. Like they're just peeking up over the edge. I love it. All right. So like I said, two foam squares on each paw and that will get all their paws added to this card front. Then we're going to add our pumpkin. This is going to sit right on top of the uh, black cat's head. And then I'm going to pop up that hot foiled sentiment to give it more dimension. I love dimension on my cards. Like I use an excess of foam squares for sure. <laughs> Added my bat and my spider. And then I thought I'm going to glue this right down to my card, which is nine inches by eight inches, scored it four, but it just had too much of a black border for me. So I carefully removed that because I had barely set it down and added a panel in between and that layer measures eight and a half or eight and three fourths by three and three fourths and then I have a mat between my card front and my card base and that gives me those three little framed out layers and I love that look. For the inside I have a panel of this bright green cardstock that I'm going to stamp with some of the other images from the set. The Happy Halloween and then this other cat. So cute. <laughs> I love the long tail. And then we'll glue this to the inside of the card because it's nice to have an inside panel when you have a black card or you could always write on the inside with a gel pen if your card is black, of course. And then I loved this, but I thought it would be even cuter if I added some little paws that it, so it looked like it was holding that inside panel up. What do you think? Do you like that look? I thought it was kind of fun. All right, so I did add some enamel dots to the outside. I will show you that now. This some I found in my stash that I've had forever, and they've been well used, but I did have a few black ones left, so I'm throwing those on just to add a little something extra. And that is the card. Now we're going to move on to a little treat. When I was making this, I was trying to think of other ways I could use this cat because it's so fun. So I'm going to stamp the cat and four paws. And I'm using that fake tan ink again. So I have an orange cat. And then I'm going to cut all of these things out. So four paws total. And then I thought it would be fun to have a sentiment. I hadn't used this one from the set yet. So I stamped Hey Boo in that sugar plum ink. We'll cut these things out. I like to leave a white border around. It just makes it easier to cut them out. And on two of the paws, I'm actually going to cut away the claws. So I have just the paw and no claws on the end. So two paws with claws, two without. And we're going to attach these right to the M&M bag. This is a fun size M&M bag. And I'm using some double stick tape to put across the bottom of that cat's head. And then I'm going to use glue dots to attach the paws. These just have a really strong hold. And so when you're giving this um, kind of 3D treat thing away, it's nice to have that really strong hold that these adhesives will give you. So the paws on the bottom are the ones without the claws. It just looked kind of weird to have the claws there, but it just looks like the cat is holding this little bag of M&Ms and it's so darn cute. So I had to make one in purple too, cause yeah, adorable. So there's my matching treats to go with my card because that's what Halloween is about, right? Cheering people up with something cute and something sweet. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love for you to leave them below. I always love to hear from you guys and chat with you. And I will be back again very soon with another video for Scrapbook Pal. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.